Thanks, Corey. We're joined by one of our favorites, former Iowa Hawkeye, former Assumption Knight, and current LA Ram, Jake Gervas. Jake, thanks for joining us. We're here at St. Vincent Complex, and before we talk about the league, Iowa football, all that kind of stuff, I want to talk to you about a really cool event that you have started up. It's the your, 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 your inaugural camp. Yep. It's the Rally for Reed camp. Can I just talk about what it is and how it came about? Yeah, so uh, Reed Gleason was a young kid I met at the UI Children's Hospital a couple years ago during my time at Iowa football. And, you know, I got pretty close with him and his family. Uh, he was diagnosed with medulloblastoma, which is, you know, pediatric brain cancer at the age of two. And, you know, just through my time getting to know him, his family became pretty close with him and his battle with pediatric cancer. And uh, unfortunately, he passed away this last October at the age of five after an up and down battle. And, you know, I thought it'd be something really cool that I could do for uh, not only him and his family to, you know, keep his name and his legacy alive, but also raise money for um, the Rally for Reed Foundation. So we're going to have a big football camp here at St. Vincent this summer. It's something we're really excited about to, uh, like I said, not only keep Reed's name and legacy alive, but raise a bunch of money for an awesome cause. We'll talk about the camp more in a second, but, but you, the bond that you formed with him. And, and to go back, and, and that's a cool thing about being at the University of Iowa, is that you guys get to, to do certain things and, and go over the Children's Hospital. And when did that bond kind of start? And, and did you expect to, that when this started that you'd be now here, you know, years later, kind of continuing that bond and having it be as strong as maybe ever? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I want to say it was probably 2018 was when a family friend kind of connected us. I went over there with a buddy, met Reed and his, uh, his parents, Bill and Megan Gleason. And just right away, I kind of, you know, felt a little attached to him. He was, he was connected to an IV pole. He was, you know, going through uh, chemo, radiation, but like he never was not smiling, which, which was awesome. He was always a little ball of energy. Every time I went over there, we were, you know, chasing him around in the, in the hallways playing soccer. He was bowling in his room. Like he was always active. And I think that's a reason he was able to fight so long and so hard is because of his positive attitude and how much energy he had at such a young age, like, you know, as adults, we kind of realize how gruesome something like cancer can be. And for a five-year-old to be going through something like that, but to remain so positive, it really rubbed off on me. So kind of, you know, formed that bond in 2018, stayed in touch with him and his family. And, you know, they're up, unfortunately, they're up in Iowa City a lot. So anytime I got the chance to go over and visit him and his mom, Megan, you know, I, I tried to make sure I was able to do that. And uh, like I said, it's, it's awesome to see the relationship I was able to grow with him and his family. And I'm really looking forward to doing something like this uh, to honor Reed and his legacy. It's a perfect marriage because to be able to give back in, in your home community, do a camp. That's what I mean. Every guy kind of dreams of getting, making it in the league, and then and being able to give back, and then having this uh, cause that that's right there for you. They they, they kind of in almost a perfect storm on starting something up and then being able to do it for such a great cause. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's two things I love doing: football and you know, giving back and trying to make a positive impact. So. It uh, should be an awesome day. It's something we're really excited about. I think we can raise a bunch of money doing it. And uh, we got a great group of coaches that are going to join us and help out with, you know, working with kindergarten, kindergartners all the way through eighth grade and uh, Sunday, June 27th. You mentioned those coaches. There's some pretty good coaches slash players that are still in the league now. Kind of talk about some of the guys that, that have uh, said they're going to come back. You know, while we're at Iowa, we get the chance to go over to the Children's Hospital, meet families, meet kids. And that's why it wasn't, you know, that big a deal to ask my buddies to help out. So we got a lot of good guys coming. Um, a bunch of guys that, you know, played at Iowa are playing in the league right now or are going to try to play in the league. Um, just to name a couple, you got Tristan Wirfs, you know, drafted 13th overall in last year's draft and just won a Super Bowl as a rookie. You got Ben Neiman, a linebacker for the Chiefs, won a Super Bowl two years ago. Uh, Josie Jewell, one of the best linebackers in Iowa history. And then uh, a bunch of other guys that, you know, were really successful at Iowa both on and off the field. And, you know, they're really excited to come out here, come back to Davenport, not only help, um, you know, young kids learn the game of football and instill fundamentals and hard work, but like I said, raise money for an awesome cause. Two Super Bowl champions isn't a bad way to start a camp. Um, yeah. You look at, we'll, we'll put all the information on our website, but kind of take through people through, uh, obviously it's here at the St. Vincent Center, a beautiful complex, um, kind of take people through the, the dates and, and what they get and all that kind of stuff. Yep, so it's going to be Sunday, June 27th here at St. Vincent. We got three separate uh, sessions. So we got K through second, third through fifth, and then sixth through eighth. Uh, you can sign up on the Rally for Read homepage. You know, we can post a link to that. 
And if you sign up, you get a t-shirt, a swag bag, and a football. Uh, the day is going to be, you know, each session is going to be a little different as the age groups get older. But, uh, you know, we're going to do some stations. You're going to be coached by a bunch of former Hawks and current NFL guys. And then at the end of each session, we're going to have an autograph, um, you know, time where you can go around, get pictures and autographs from the coaches. And uh, like I said, it's going to be an awesome day full of, you know, football fundamentals and uh, also raising money for the Rally for Reed Foundation which is gonna use that money to help out families that were, are in similar situations that the Gleasons were in, uh, but also to raise money to continue the fight against pediatric cancer. Good news for you is I have a kid in every one of those age groups. <laughs> so yeah, sign them up. <laughs> we'll be here Sunday, all day. June 27th. Uh, let, let's talk about yourself. Still in the league and, and still doing well. And, and I love your story because it seems like you're doubt at every single step of the way and you continue to, to work hard to get to where you're at. Uh, a position change. The, yep. this this offseason kind of take me through that and what moved you from safety to linebacker yep so uh not necessarily linebacker yet i'm gonna gotcha. try to be gotcha. we'll, we'll see gotcha. how fall camp goes but i'm i'm at that linebacker position just at the end of last season um you know i've been cut cut a three four times in the last couple of years and it's kind of reading the writing on the wall where uh you know the rams coaching staff along with myself um thought it might be a good idea to try to make a position change you know put on a couple pounds um, move down into that linebacker position in the box and, you know, really try to help the team any way I can. So I figured it'd, it'd be beneficial for both me and the team um, where, you know, it put, puts myself in a better position to add value and hopefully make that active roster again. It's a journey, but each step of the way is enjoyable and kind of take me through that because it, it is up and down, but it's something that I'm sure you wouldn't change or you wouldn't, you don't regret at all. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I started my career as a walk-on at Iowa, knew it was going to be a tough road ahead, and I knew it was going to be a long shot for me to make it in the NFL. So to be able to be sitting here two years in, um, I'm just trying to take it day by day, year by year, and just keep fighting and, and clawing my way to a uh, try to make an active roster and, you know, carve out a role for a team. So, uh, like you said, there's a lot of ups and downs. Wouldn't change it for the world. It's, you know, helped make me a better person off the football field. I know yourself. You're, you're somebody who might be out in L.A. And, and doing the NFL thing, but you always got an eye on the Iowa football program and what the Hawkeyes are doing. How weird would have last year been for you if you were still at Iowa? I mean, I think it would have been really tough, especially me individually. Like, I, you know, kind of thrive off a of structure and like you said there were the season was on the season was off no spring ball there's so many you know ups and downs whether or not they're going to play the season so I think a lot of credit goes to the Iowa coaching staff to the guys on that team you know they started off rough losing those first two games but then you know got on a roll won six in a row and we're going to a good bowl game so uh, it was definitely an interesting season to watch from afar but I know you know the people they have in that building the coaching staff the players um, I know they just wrapped up spring ball this last weekend, and you know they're really looking forward to this fall. You mentioned spring ball. There was no spring ball a year ago. How how different? How how much does it affect a college football player? How valuable is spring ball to what you guys do? You know, it's huge. It's five weeks of you know hundreds and thousands of reps on the field, where you know you're constantly getting better. You're learning the offense, the defense, the special teams, whatever it is, and to lose that. Um, it can definitely be tough, especially for young guys. You know, Iowa's a developmental program, and spring ball is a huge time for guys who are, you know, trying to learn the defense, trying to get on the field on special teams. Let me ask you about another alma mater. We're here at Assumption, or St. Vincent Assumption's over there. Being back at this place and seeing how it's grown, and I know we kind of joke that, man, I wish this was here when I was here, but what's it like? You know, it's awesome. Like you said, it kind of stinks. I, I missed out on the new, new field at St. Vincent. Missed out on the new football, you know, jerseys and uniforms they got the year after I left. But uh, it's definitely cool to see see this place grow. And, you know, I still got connections there. I got my cousin Johnny Argo going into his senior year next year. Um, and it's, it's definitely sweet to come back. And I'm really looking forward to getting back here for Reed's camp. So. A lot of some uh, exciting stuff for Jake Gervas. Of course, the camp is coming up. He's heading out to L.A. again, third season now in the NFL yep. coming up. And then, of course, you're married. You're not – Haley hasn't left you yet. Not yet. Not yet. You're so oh, good. We're still good you for now. haven't messed that up yet. Yeah, I'm tricking her into marrying me again this July. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I appreciate you. We'll put all the information for your inaugural camp online at WQID.com. Perfect. Thanks, man. All right, Jake, appreciate you. We'll have much more on The Score Sunday coming up right after this.